So my name is Malcolm McKenzie and I was artist doing schools project with uh, youngsters in Bolton High School. Without a doubt, Lochalsh is changing from a Lochalsh that was to a Lochalsh that will be. And I think the youngsters are really having to think hard about if they want to be here, what are they going to do? And it's, it's, working out, it's working out how that transition happens, what happens, and how they can be part of it. My personal goal was to have the kids engaged in talking about Lochalsh as a, as a place that belongs to them, a place that they live, and a place that they feel they can influence the direction of. And we ended up with the zine. But the main thing was to get the kids interested in talking about their, their place in the world. So it was open to first to fourth years in Plockton High School. I think we started with about 35 and we ended up with 22, sort of regular, over the, over the seven weeks. Well, we started by asking everyone where they lived and what was good and what was bad about where they lived. And, um, and then, we, then we opened it out to saying if you had, I think it was 10 million pounds, how would you spend it in your area? And, and kind of making the kids aware that they're responsible for the direction of this area as much as anyone else. It's, they don't want stuff done to them, for them. And then that just started ideas. And then from the ideas, they each seemed to hone in on something that interested them. Um, so there's things like build a McDonald's, build a shopping centre, but there's also other things like um, build a cable car so the villages can link up. There was talking about kids feeling that they don't have anywhere to go, nowhere to hang out, um, poor, poor weather in the winter, kind of they feel like if they want to go outside their house and meet up with their friends, there's, there's nowhere to go. So we built a, we built a series of little like models, maquettes of shelters that that they would design themselves in. So environmental concerns were sort of present for the kids and a lot of them talked about how much plastic was on the beaches. Someone mentioned that there should be better recycling facilities. And then there was a group of girls that were talking about doing a grow your own or, or a seed swap thing. Um, and they they suggested you had a community garden or allotments that everyone could grow their own, reduce food miles, um, reduce the impact on the planet, and then you know can swap food, to make it make it much more of a thing. So one of the suggestions was that they have free Wi-Fi hotspots across Lochalsh that everyone can access. So you know you don't maybe you don't need to pay for for mainline internet, but if there's hotspots, we can all access it. It help for visitors, but it also help for locals who just want to be able to work from home. And that would be that would be a great thing. So they did a protest. Um, and they they walked around the school with their placards, and uh, and then got signatures and stuff. So that was that was that was great actually. That was really kind of dynamic. We think that we should have Wi-Fi in the Lockhouse community area, um, since in cities and stuff you can just go anywhere, and you can be sitting in the park or in a car park, and you'll just be able to connect to the Wi-Fi. And we think that we should have that here. Yeah, so all these things happened over the different weeks and, and each kid or each group of friends kind of latched onto their idea and, and brought it forward. Um, and then the Shinty, the Kinloch Shield Shinty pitch, um, a group of boys who I think play for the Kinloch Shield junior team, they, read, they designed a clubhouse for the new pitch and their idea was it would be a, a function space for for the club, a fundraiser space, but also a place that they can have changing rooms and, and do training and endure in the winter. And biggest strength or biggest success, I feel, was watching them change from thinking that they had no power to realizing that their ideas are as good as anyone's ideas. And we, I think we asked at the beginning um, who would leave and who would stay. And I think the majority said they wanted to stay when they left school which is really encouraging. Um, and I think, I think watching a wee, a wee fire light inside them or, or a seed of thought, thinking that they have the, the ability and the power to 
influence the direction of, of this area is, is great. And, you know, they're really aware of the lack of housing, um, problems with transport, um, all these things, you know, like jobs, what are they going to do for jobs? They're all aware of that. But in the next 20 years, 30 years, they're going to be thinking, well, it's about us and it's important that we we can can influence that. And it's, and it's housing, it's jobs, it's transport, it's environmental concerns. But realising, I think, realising that they can influence the direction. Well, that's what we need if this area is going to survive and thrive and watching them realise that is, is great.